now when I listen to the radio, I turn on the radio, I hear versions of Nick Dogg all yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, with all due respect to these new artists, uh, I believe the first pre person I've really heard go into depth singing on the record was TJ Swan. Yeah, from the Juice Crew. He, he then, got down another day. I seen him up then, there on the then, stage. He, he got on stage. He got, on, I didn't, he got I, down on stage. Oh, I didn't see. That, I did missed that part. To, did a tribute to Biz. He and, was up there. And after that, mm -hmm. the only person, but who was hitting melodies, because T.J. Yeah. Swan was kind of like, I want to say <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> yeah, no, the people Swan that were singing before was, didn't have. No, but Nate, <laughs> Nate was actually. Nah, like, you he can sing. You can hear. He went to church with his mom. You can hear that. And then he was above. He was. What is that shit called? Ahead of your time. Time, right. yes, he was did. so ahead of his time that people now are hitting his melodies right now, and yeah. they don't even know it. Yeah, did you, you know what? Uh, that that uh, don't another flight. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. That's that. That's yeah. Whoever wrote that. That's right. real. That's they, yeah. They had, they oh, 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 even right. the hold up. Yeah. The hold up. That shit. Uh, Corley, Corley Co Ray. Corley yeah. Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big Hall. Yes, yeah. indeed, yes, yeah. indeed. But did yeah. you did you, did you, you think, like, because, like, I, I mean, um, I, not to call out anybody's mm -hmm. name, but when I, like, God bless, when I hear mm -hmm. T-Pain, mm -hmm. when I hear Future, I hear Rod Wave, I hear, like, uh, who's these other guys out there? Uh, even, like, the Travis Scott's melodies yeah. and yeah. all that. Did you think, like, Nate's legacy would be this powerful? Definitely. He you was, knew it. I knew it. He he was just he was different. You right. know, he was different and and anything like that was like how Snoop and Dre is. That's how me and Nate is. Right. You know what I mean? So anything I would bring up, it no, it don't matter what it was. I could put on some shit like a jazz tune that, that's jazz. like off balance and just mm. crazy. He'd come up with some shit to that shit. Right. He'd do mm. some scatting to that shit. Right. You know, he'd right. do all kind of shit, but he'd, he'd be, it'd be in a gangster way. Right. right. You know, and it, whether it's about a woman, he'd be scatting to talking about a woman. You right. know what I mean? And just, he, he was just, just dope. Anything that, that you could put in his face, he would turn that shit in or something to right. a, a, Cause there was nothing a, soft about the way head. he approached the record. He was a gangster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. He nothing was soft about he, it. He meant that shit. When yeah. he was on there, he telling his, telling the real, mm -hmm. just like the hardest man. It's one of his songs. I don't know if too many people heard that, but it's him. Uh, it's, he's talking in third person, but the the third the, the person that's the third person is a gun. Yeah. It's a gun telling him a story, right. and he's telling the story about himself at the same time. You know, because it say, "Little big man, don't you see me lying here? Yeah. Pick me up." Uh, the, the, what he said, "I'll make your life easier." Uh, God damn it, I can't remember the song, all the words all the right. way. But he say, after you finish doing what you doing, toss me and be gone. But mm. just the gun talking right. to him saying, toss me and be gone. Right. It's it's called, you got to hear it, it's called The Hardest Man. But like I said, he was incredible, man. And, and it was things like that, that he could do along with being on any type of genre of music and making that shit a hit record. Nate was incredible. Let's make some noise for Nate. Yeah. 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 Ye